Let's Hunt is a video series with tactics, weapons, locations and other useful tips, always around one particular animal. Hello everyone, welcome back to the next Let's Hunt video. A few people have asked me if I could show where to hunt moose, how to hunt moose, and that is what I'm going to do. There's two places where moose appears in Hemeldal and also in Red Feather Falls. And I will start here in uh, Hemeldal, all in white, with the white snake bite. I'm going to hunt moose. If you have watched a few of my Let's Hunt videos already, you know this place. This is my tent where I start. This is my bear bait battle where I have hunted brown bear. Uh, this tent also is where I start for reindeer. And it's a very good place for moose. There is this western pocket here of Hemeldal uh, around this uh, stone. And there is a lot of moose here. I find a lot of them in the early morning when I start before 10. After 10, somehow I find more roe deer. So there's always moose, there's always some brown bear. So I will go after them here and I will go south. We'll see how far we can go today. All right, let's get going. Eight o'clock in the morning. I'll bring my 300 rifle, which I only want to use uh, on longer shots. Uh, then I want to use the snake bite today. Uh, I really like the white uh, winter camo. It's a good looking bow. And I hunt a lot with the python bow. And I've done a few videos with that. But for moose today I want to use the snake bite. Uh, the python is very silent. It's very deadly also for close up shots. Um, but this one is a bit stronger, but it's a bit louder also. And if there's any animals near the ones you shoot, uh, they will certainly run away. There's a bit of a difference with the moose here in Hemeldal compared to Red Feather. Here, many times you find one bull, there is one calling, and two cows. Oftentimes you have one bull, two cows here in Hemeldal. And you don't have that in Red Feather. They can team up or they can appear together um, but usually they're on their own so that's a bit of a difference in the spawning of the moose and sure enough you can also hear the cow calling and I wouldn't be surprised if there's two cows so whenever you hear a moose cow calling in Hemeldal um, you can be somewhat sure or you can hope for a bull as well With the moose caller, they will come to you. But they seem to have a very short memory. They will not be attracted for a very long time and they will turn around and walk back. So you have to call um, uh, much more than with the, uh, for, exam for example, the grunt caller. And also what the moose caller does is it uh, triggers responses, vocal responses from the moose. They can, they can call back when you call. So for example, you could blindly call uh, and see if you get a response somewhere in the woods from a moose. So right now the cow is coming pretty fast. And I haven't seen, I haven't seen the male yet. He's trotting back to the middle. Oh, that's a very nice male. Look at that. 215 to 240. This is a great male. This is a great bull. And actually, there is a competition running. Shoot the biggest moose from a tree stand. So actually, it's the heaviest moose that we have to shoot from a tree stand. I didn't check the weight because I was so glad to see those antlers. There's another male. Okay, so there's four of them. Wow, look at this male. This is really interesting because I wanted to also say, people ask me, where do I find big moose? And the answer is, well, you cannot find particular places with big moose. You just need to see a lot of them. And the more you see, the bigger chances. So currently, they are too close 
So the challenge now is to set up the tree stand which I brought. Look at all these moose. There's four of them. The challenge now is to set up the tree stand and not spook them. So I have to hope for them to actually walk away a bit. And then I will have to call them back to me. She is still too close. That's funny. I, I want to call them to me. And now with this competition with the tree stand, I want them to go away. They stick around here. So I'll just go far, far enough. And I haven't checked the weight of the big moose actually. Maybe it's not even worth all the effort right now. So let's try this tree here. And then let's see if they're still there. Yes. So we didn't mess up. Now we have to call quite a bit. And I want to shoot this moose from the tree stand. It doesn't matter how big it's going to be, how heavy. It's certainly going to score very well. But the challenge is to get it uh, out of the four. So you could have... All the others coming first. The tree stand isn't really very high there. We'll see how that goes. They can be pretty fast. Once they walk away, they can cover a lot of distance in a short time. And if they're not coming back, if they have decided to walk away, then uh, I'll have to follow them. I will certainly follow that big antlered moose there. That's a very, very nice rack there. how far they are so I'm just going to call a lot and wait for them to return There he is, and he's leading the pack from what I see right now. Very nice. This is really interesting. Oh. 
I have to hunt a lot of moose to see a really nice one. And today I said I was going to make a video, no matter what I see, I'll just focus on how to shoot them, how to find them. And here is a big guy, that's really nice. Yeah, he's coming right over. Excellent. So the animals are east of me. Not exactly sure what the wind is like here. I don't see anything flying around. By the way, when I sit on the tr in the tree stand, I want to check the camo. And I'm fully covered except the hat, of course, which is red. But the snow camo covers me up here, gives me good protection. You can see the, l the light green. And I can see those antlers right through the trees. You cannot miss those. Look at this moose. This is perfect for this video. I didn't pay attention before to the weight, so he's not going to score well in the competition. But he's going to do well in my video. And I was talking about the herds and Hemeldals. He's, he's going away again. <laughs> you have to call them a lot. I was talking about the herds and Hemeldal. And I'm pretty sure there is one herd of one bull and two cows. And the other bull just happens to be in the area. I'm not sure if they spawn together as one group. But nevertheless, they prove the point in Hemeldal. You see groups of moose. So most moose I see are like this. <laughs> wow, what a difference. What a difference. Look at these two males. That is small versus super large. probably 50 60 meters away still yeah and the snake bite actually is has one pin sight or the sight has one pin and it's set for 20 meters but you can easily shoot animals at 30 40 meters you aim a little bit higher it's got a lot of power uh, pretty flat uh, line of shooting so even at 50 meters you just lift up your bow a little bit and you can still be on target and our monster moose is coming first one last call and hopefully we can drop it on the spot so we can make a nice trophy shot here in the open look at this four moose one of them a really big male and of course I shot too late I waited too long, so I only could shoot it from above, which is really hard. Um, so we go pick it up anyway. Somewhere back there. Not a big deal. A 
and see what I hit. So I still hit the ho uh, the lungs. It's a really close shot for the snake, but I mean this is this is a monster bow uh, from very close. Maybe I can show you later also on a different animal. When you shoot from from the front, you can penetrate almost all the organs with one arrow. It's very strong. So the trophy shot is in the trees here. Never mind. The score set 215 to 240. This is our first moose in the video. Most likely our best. And it scores 220. As you can see, I shot through the shoulder blade and I penetrated all the organs except the heart. So this is very a very typical picture for the snake bite. Now let's drag it out here. One of the challenges with the moose is to pose it so that you can uh, nicely see the antlers. All the many times it's shaking the head. Um, so this is not perfect from the light, but we can nicely see the antlers. Here you go. One of my best moose in a very long time. Really nice. So we'll pick up the tracks of the other moose. So if I find this track the next time, I will know it's a small one. So all three other moose have spooked, of course, uh, but there will be more in this area. Here we have the next track, it's a female. Let's see if she has some company. She could well be on her own, of course. There's the next female over there. So this one, I don't see any other tracks. So I'll focus on the call ahead of me. See if there's any more. There's an icy lake here. I don't think I've ever seen Moose walking over a lake here. I've seen roe deer walking over it, but not any other animal. So the moose cow is back there. Of course, I want to know if there's any bulls there. Is that the one that called? Let's make a dot and then we'll see. If I make this dot here on the map. Yeah, that's the one that called. Very nice. So we see it and we can know it's not worth the wait. Okay, 
let's move on. The highlighted track here is from a reindeer. That was running away, but here we have some moose tracks. Both females not worth going after. And another female, also one hour old. Maybe two cows traveling together. There's a cow ahead of me. So I'll just follow her while I'm looking for more tracks. There she is. There's actually one thing I wanted to show you. That's why I'm following this, this track here. Shooting moose from behind is quite a challenge because they're quite big. Uh, they're quite strong. Even with a strong rifle, it's hard to penetrate uh, a vital organ from, from further away. But there's one place where you can shoot moose from behind, which is the brain. The head is slightly above the shoulders. And if you hit the moose well, you can shoot it actually rather easily from behind if you hit the brain. But it's a risky shot because the moose shake their head quite a bit. Uh, even if, if when they stand around, they shake their heads. So I want to see if I can maybe practice here with this cow if I see it oh, there's a reindeer as well the one that was fleeing nervously running around I cannot call this reindeer and take her out simply because female reindeer do not respond to the caller which I didn't bring anyway So if this was a roe deer, I could call it, I could take it out and then keep going after the moose. In this case, I will have to hope for her to just trot away. And maybe she ends up spooking my moose, we'll see. But I really wanted to show you this. This is also good if, for example, um, you miss a moose or you spook a moose, it runs away, you can sneak after it, and as soon as you see it standing around, you can try that brain shot from behind. But you need a rifle, of course, a very good rifle. Yeah, that's the fleeing reindeer. And here is our moose cow. 
And I'm still walking. They're rather dull. Maybe she's hurt me. Um, but most likely she hasn't really. You can walk up to Moose quite a bit, quite close. I'm not going to call her, of course, otherwise she would turn around. Got my weapon ready. Yeah, she's rather close now. If I'm lucky, I can get up here. There she is. Maybe we're lucky and can place that shot when she stands. You can see the skull, the head is slightly above the shoulders. Yeah, but she's still walking. <laughs> and there you go. You can see the moose shot from behind. This works for males as much as for females. About 75, me about 75 meters. So let's not die here. And really shooting moves from behind, you have to be lucky to get the lungs. So what I've been doing is I've gone for the brain like said, it's a bit risky. They shake their head a lot, but um, in this case, it seemed to have worked. Let's see if we got the brain. Yeah, there you go. Brain and skull. Uh, there's no way this, this moose can survive. So that's a little trick. Shooting moose from behind. Now I'm going to run south, of course I've made a lot of noise, I've spooked reindeer, I've shot the rifle. So I'm going to run south a little bit until I pick up tracks from moose again. We'll try to find another few bulls, of course. And here we're picking up the fleeing tracks of a of a known moose. That's the one we spotted next to our monster moose. That's why we have three red dots already, so I've been running pretty much down here and it's booked. So let's go after this this one. <laughs> there is a, a reindeer again. I wanna go after this moose, make another bow kill. Reindeer bull over there. Probably just over the hill. Anyway. So let's go after the flea moose. Looks like it has calmed down. It's not really hard to catch up with moose. Here's a new track. I'm only going to confirm it once I see the dome of my current animal. And then I'll look at the weight, I'll look at the time. And then I'll decide if it's worth switching. Down there is my moose. 560 to 620. <laughs> That's a heavy one. That I certainly want to follow. But it's an hour away. 
and this one I already know it's not that big maybe I can get them both I'll see if I can do an easy kill here. I will not spend a lot of time on this one. Especially after the track that I just picked up. I don't see the next track. So I will follow this one actually, it's an hour away, I'll do a bit of running, um, if I find it, and there it is. And as soon as I catch up, I will be back. So I've been running after this moose and look at all these tracks here. Looks like he has turned around three minutes away. So the last track said I'm 40 minutes away and now here I'm running into a three minutes a three minute old track which most likely means I spooked it Never mind, this one we'll, we'll, we will certainly go after. Yeah, it's booked. Which is cool. I never mind spooked animals in my videos, then I can always show what you do in that case. It's an important uh, thing to do. Many times you spook animals, whether you... Whether you're skilled or whether you just happened to spook one while you did something else it doesn't matter you will always spook animals so this one is fleeing I walked a little bit from here I will just just crouch it's really easy to uh, to find it it's nothing compared to like red deer where you st constantly have to glass and they spook again and again, the big ones. Or the brown bear is similar, the red fox is similar. But with moose, you can come fairly close, even if they're in nervous state. So I'll just crouch after these. And I'm thrilled to see the actual weight. And of course the antlers. Like mentioned in the beginning, the current competition is based on weight, but you need to shoot it from a stand. So in case it's really a big one, a heavy one, we'll have to do the, the whole scenario again with the tree stand. I mean, if you want to really have fun, you can catch up with the moose. Oh, I think there's, it's either a bear or moose running there. If you really want to have fun, you can catch up with the moose, call it towards you, mount the tree stand, get up in there because it's going to run away from it, and then shoot it. <laughs> I've tried this a few times. I was lucky once with a roe deer doing exactly that but you'll have a lot of misses that way it's really a fun thing to do uh, nothing that a real hunter would ever do 
let alone the fact that the real tree stand will be a lot more work than this one. I saw an animal running over the hill and looking where the tracks lead me that could be that could have been the moose. And remember what we did before. If it's not great, we can try the brain shot from behind. But actually I brought the bow, I wanted to do bow hunting, so... And he has calmed down, he's calling. Well actually... Really want to spot it, spot it first. See if it's a heavy one. There he is. Five ninety to six twenty. That's worth going for the competition, of course. And he's coming back to me. He's coming back to me. I need to set up the tree stand. So that's not uh, a good scoring moose, but it's a heavy moose and, and that's good also good example to display that you cannot go by the weight you cannot say I'm only going to follow big moose heavy moose based on the track estimation um, you could miss a good score so this should work tree stand has a spook radius of 100 meters Of course, if I'm unlucky, I can also spook something else. Which would then spook the moose. There he is. So those 100 meters could keep that in mind whenever you set up a stand. This one was further away. Didn't notice anything. Any animal within the 100 meters will spook. So this is going to be difficult to do a bow shot from from up here. Would be a lot easier if the moose came down the hill. Um, as you've seen before, the closer it gets, the worse the angle. And in this case, the angle will be bad all the way up the hill, coming up the hill here. He's turned around already. I can tell you those moose need a lot of attention.
You're going the wrong way, buddy. Ah, there he comes. They've really done a great job with the antlers. There's a lot of diversity. He, he turns around again. What the heck? <laughs> What's he doing? They did a great job with the antlers. Every moose is really different from the next. If he keeps doing this, I will end up having to shoot it with the rifle anyway. Nah, he's coming. And while he's approaching, maybe as far as where they appear, I've started here in the west. I've covered the west, the top western corner, this pocket here on the map. And if you go south, there will be more moose around. But further down, there's really a lot of a lot of roe deer, brown bear, reindeer. To me, it feels like there is more moose in the northern half of the map. If you have covered a little bit of the map here in the north, you can fast travel to the lodge, to the northern lodge, and then cover the, the eastern top corner. The eastern top corner there as well. There's a lot of moose around. Oh, there's another? Have I been looking at two different moose? <laughs> 590 to 620. 570 to 610. <laughs> this is too funny. Bo both are pretty heavyweight moose. Medium antler size. This is too funny. Where do you come from? I really need the other for the competition. So you're not going to spook, buddy. A bit too far for the snake bite. Could be risky enough. Look at this. He just walks underneath my tree stand. Very nice. And they turn away. What the heck? <laughs> uh. Oh yeah, there was this call, right? Let's turn around again. Ah, this is a lot of work. And again, this one's coming first. What's my camel like? I'm covered. Thanks to the white dress here, the white camouflage. I really need the other. And he's down. Let's take this one as well. Great miss. Turned around right at the shot. Oh well, there you go. No risk, no fun, but the uh, the moose I really wanted went down on the spot. The snake bite did the job. Now we want to see the weight.
600 kilograms. Puts me in the second spot. So I think we've seen a few moose here. And let's go over to Red Feather Falls. And this is Trapper's Rest Lodge in Red Feather. I've switched my camo and I also switched to the green snake bite. Let's not talk a lot, let's get going. Have a quick look on the map first. The lodge is located here in the south and from here you can really go either up this way, you can go this way, you can go this way. There will be moose around, there's also white tail and not much else. So these are the two animals, the predominant animals in this area. I will start here in the west. I quite like these little going over these little hills here in this open. Uh, maybe we'll have time to fast travel back to the lodge and take another route. But let's focus here on the west. Let's see what moose we can find here. Starting time is again 8 o'clock. The mighty 300 again for longer shots. The snake bite. This time the green version. And also I brought the 454 handgun, a really nice revolver. Perfect for moose for larger game. Maybe we can utilize that as well. So like said, this is moose and whitetail country. There is a first call. I was just going to say the call will be one of these. But here, unlike Hemeldahl, you cannot trust there will be a male with that female. I'm going to call her over. I'm going to approach her. If you see multiple animals, it's rather rare actually. Of course, multiple moose can now respond to my call, but I don't believe really that a lot of them will spawn together. Mostly they are alone. So we can qu uh, walk quite close to Moose Cow. There's no line of sight. And they don't hear you well. But I will crouch from here nevertheless. I think moose is one of the easiest animals to hunt. The toughest part really is shooting them because they're so big, so strong. Good shot placement is key. And as you've seen before, shooting from behind. You want to avoid that unless you might get a brain shot. Didn't mark the place. Not sure how far she is really. Oh, there she is. She walking away already. At least we're talking the same language. It's been a long while since I've been attacked by a moose really. When they came out, a lot of times I was tackled by a moose cow from the side. Didn't know where she was coming from. But it's been a really long time.
And now you will see how the arrow penetrates the animal. From this close, look at the organs. <laughs> the last one I didn't get, but everything else is penetrated. It went through the um, shoulder blade as well. So the snake bite is uh, the snake bite is of course very very useful for this kind of animal. Let's see if my call attracted any additional ones. good place for white tail as well you can see far every now and then you have these hills once you come over these hills you have again a, a good look good view on the landscape and it's starting to drizzle here you never know what the weather's going to do. But with the rain, usually these animals can be seen better. And I thought I had seen something over there. Yeah, there's a moose. Rather small one. small bull both in weight and score we can walk to this one quite a bit especially if we stay behind trees like here Nice animations for the moose, really, as for most of the animals. He's got interesting antlers. Like, like they're split somehow. <laughs> So hunting moose is really, hunting moose is one of the easiest things in the game. The, the, probably the easiest animal to hunt. The tough part really is the shooting. Taking it down really with a strong weapon is the toughest part. This shot was a bit too high up, I must, I must have hit the, uh, the shoulder blade. But all to the lungs, as you can see, at, with the bright blood. So 8.19, 8.20 will be 10 real minutes in the game. And we've got two already. And always remember when you call, you will attract whatever is in the area. Yeah, this one also did a lot of damage. But the shot was a bit too high for uh, the distance.
I want to say there's about the same amount of white tails and moose in this area. So needless to say, this is a good spot for white tail hunting. It's actually never a bad idea to take out those calling does. I don't see it, and I wonder if it sees me. I usually go right towards the animal. Has, which has pros and cons. There's another. So this was barely 20 meters away and was not spooked by the snake bite. That's ideal of course if you can take out those ever calling those two at a time. And as you can see, the snake bite arrows really fly right through the animal. Oh, there's another moose cow. Maybe we can try the uh, revolver on this one. Good damage, although rather sh uh, rather short distance. So after shooting that moose cow, I walked a little bit further, and then I decided to start a new hunt again here at Trapper's Rest. This time I will walk east. There's a first moose. <coughs> White tail tracks.
The first few hundred meters here is usually a dry area. Uh, but once we get over to the flat, swampy part where there's some ponds and uh, where there's where it's where it's more flat, there's always some moose around. There she stands in the morning sun. There's another track here. Again, White Hills. So the arrow must have gone through the animal, hitting intestines, but missing the lungs. Not sure, not sure how that works. And it looks like this time we got the lungs. <laughs> I get responses from white tails to my moose collar. That's interesting. No, of course it's coincidence. And then we have our first moose bull in the lower weight class. Not too far away. Let's see if he responses, but he might still be out of range. But maybe somebody else responses. That's always possible. So you can easily walk after moose unless they turn around 
they will not spook until you have a full circle on the hunter mate. And there's another bull calling. That's not my bull I've been following. If we're unlucky, quote unquote, we'll have two coming in now. Because this one isn't too far either. And there is a cow as well. Just checking another track here. There's another moose. So this is the one we've been following. Not sure if he hears me. There's the cow that has been calling. And another cow. And there's the bull. Very small. So this looks like the uh, the herding we see a lot in Hemeldal. You can see this. Oh, there's a white-tailed deer. You can see this group grouping in red feather, but it's not as as common as it is in Hemeldal. Let's try and take the bull out while avoiding the cows. I might be upwind of them, which is everything but ideal. Yeah, I had to shoot a bit fast here. Not ideal. But I got the lungs. So this one turned around. We'll just keep going after it. And hopefully the one I shot is right here somewhere. I was hoping I could just pick it up here.
How far does he run with a long shot? There he is. More white tails. And this guy is still going. It's a bit dangerous though to call and walk and call and walk. Because if he turns around and I just keep walking and I don't see it early enough. And I'll have some playing tracks. So just one lung going through the shoulder blade. And now we have the solid circle. So maybe he has been hearing me. There he is. I switch away from the hunter mate so that I keep I can keep the circles on there. There he comes. Rather small as well. So we've done a few shots with the bow. We had a kill with the uh, rifle from behind in Hemeldal. And I think he smelled me. Now he's going to go into attack mode. But um, that's too close. I was gonna say, I've shot enough with the with the bow. Maybe I can do this one with the rifle. And it ended up being shot with the revolver. Here's our last moose from this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, we finalized this with a very small score. But nevertheless, hopefully I was able to show you where you can hunt moose. Uh, we found a few nice ones, uh, but it really you really need to see many, many uh, for a good one. So even if you hunt a few times, if you don't find a nice animal, just keep going. Your monster moose will be there eventually. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Never got annoyed. Thank you very much. Stay in touch.